Hey Aliupa and welcome to my big Swedish adventure. I'm riding the length of Sweden from north to south. In the previous episode, we got to herd some reindeer. I ate my first Swedish black bean burrito. I slapped off a million horse flies. But you know what? The sun is shining and I'm a happy boy. I love the sound of birds in the morning. And also that. Woohoo! Ah, the sun is so bright. But I love it. I'll take bright sun, hot sun any day over storm clouds. And I'm sitting in here trying to uh, stretch my knee, doing some flossing exercises to hopefully make my knee hurt or hurt feel better. This is where it's hurt, right around the inside, right here. It is time for a breakfast in bed. Peanut butter, Nutella, tortilla. Mmm. We are behind the scenes of a YouTuber YouTubing. Okay, news flash, my friends. So I always knew that the Euro Divide Trail might be a little ambitious. It uh, just zigzags a lot, so there's a ton of extra mileage. And I'm just not getting the miles in that I need to get down to the bottom. I already have a plane ticket and I want to spend some time with my host family. So last night I was sitting in my tent, messing around with the Komoot app, and what I have done is I've created a new route and from here all the way down to the bottom. And the cool thing with Komoot is you can say, hey, I want to be on as many dirt roads as possible. So I used the mountain bike feature and it's cut off a few hundred miles from the, my original route. And it hopefully will put me in areas with more services, fewer mosquitoes, not as deep in the woods. And we're gonna see if this works, I don't know. This is not an established route, this is just what Kamut spit out. And so from here to the bottom is 880 miles. Still a lot of miles. Sweden is a huge country. And we'll see what happens, you know? Every day is an adventure, and uh, you just take them day by day. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Bike Touring Mike. We ready, re to... we ready for today? Yeah. All right. What do you think about our new route? Uh, I think it... It, uh, it's interesting, it's all part of the adventure when you make a new route. Uh, I know that area pretty well as well, but, but um, there are a lot of sections where there might be highways that we have to go up on, but we'll try to avoid them as much as we can. And yeah, highways are worse than mosquitoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay, it's time for a morning. Ole, 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 ole. That was a quick one, but it got us going. Here we go. Got another one coming up. Heading south. Oh, we have another one? Right on, heading south. No crashies, no flatties, no whammies, no knee problemies. It already hurts, but we'll see what happens. Ole, 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 ole. ole. Oh, holy. Did you know that an ole a day keeps the doctor away? <laughs> I had to stop here on the way out of town. Check out this house. So beautiful. I love it. And there's like a little. I don't know what that is called. Some sort of troll house. Goodbye, Lixile. So far, so good on the route. We've only gone a couple miles. There have been times where Kamut has messed me up and sent me down roads where you definitely can't go on. So we'll see what happens. Every time you get to a spot where you think you can't get through, you find a way around. It always works out. Oh, this is a big hill. This is by far the biggest hill I've encountered 
on the ride so far. <laughs> when I chose mountain bike option on Kamut, I chose that because I wanted the most dirt possible. And the gravel option just didn't seem to give me much dirt. And so, yeah, it's giving it to us. What have I gotten us into? Look at this bench right here. I think we should sit down and enjoy this, this bench in the middle of nowhere. I don't know who put this bench here, but I am very grateful for it. It's a nice place to rest my knee. And you know, the best thing about this situation, no bugs. I'm sitting here and just enjoying it like I would in a typical forest that's not infested by mosquitoes and horseflies. Well, we made it to the top of that beautiful road. Unfortunately, it just ends. It's done. <laughs> Kamut! We're gonna go down what we just came up. I'm sorry, Falot. Okay, back down we go. <laughs> All you can do is smile in these situations. Bye, bench. At least we got to sit on that awesome bench. Okay, so it turns out it wasn't Kamut's fault. There is a little road up here that we missed. And now we're gonna go that way. <laughs> it might be a whole day of, of this. Vroom, 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 vroom. Come on, knee. Let's get it together. <laughs> well, I guess it gave us kind of a mountain bike route, didn't it? <laughs> now we're gonna go up an even steeper road. That's all right, it's comedy of errors this morning. We'll figure it out. Woo! <sighs> this is so steep. It's helping me forget about my knee pain. This is pretty ironic. The whole point of making this new route was so that it would be more direct and faster. So far, that is not the case. <laughs> like the red crosses on the trees we see all along here means that this is a snowmobile track during the winter time. Oh, okay, so humans do come here. Yeah. It's not just us dummies. But they have powerful engines <laughs> taking them forward. <laughs> And so do we! So Mika was just telling me about a fun Swedish saying that I, I did not know. What is it? It's in Swedish it's called Genvägar är ofta senvägar. And it kind of means that shortcuts often turn out into detours in the end. <laughs> yeah. And that's quite true today. Yeah, this is the long cut. But it's beautiful out here. It's absolutely stunning. It's sunny and glorious and I will take this any day. I don't know if we can do the mountain bike option the whole way down. This is pretty slow going, but at least for this morning, it's pretty fun. It might be slow going, but it is definitely beautiful. And there's no bugs. That makes me happy. We just popped out of the magical forest into someone's lawn. Somebody's lawn. <laughs> yeah, I'm thankful that this is happening in Sweden running into somebody's yard because in the United States could be a different story. They take their private property very seriously. So we got to a paved road and we got out commute again and we remade a route and hopefully this will be faster. This road seems pretty chill and safe. You feel good about this? Yeah, we said that we, just as we picked up the camera, of course, two cars had to drive by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but we've basically seen just one or two cars in the last five minutes. So yeah. this seems pretty chill here. <laughs> Hur är läget, Micke? Det är bra. Det är bra. That's a good word. Bra means good. B-R-A.
Here's another Swedish lesson for you. It says, Akta våra barn, kör sakta. I'm guessing you can uh, guess what that means. Watch out for our kids, drive carefully. Or bike carefully, right, Mika? Yeah. Don't hit any kids on your bike. <laughs> Try to do, do my best. <laughs> <laughs> Sweden really takes care of its people. They get a lot of vacation. If you have a kid, you get like how many days off if you have a child? 480 days off. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. In the United States, they're like, yeah, you get a couple months and you gotta go back to work, mom. Sweden does it right. I love, I love this country. Jag älskar Sverige. What else does Sweden do right? Chokladbollar. <laughs> So down here in southern Lapland, it's opening up a bit. It's not just deep, dense forest. And I like to be able to, to see. The forests are cool, but they block all the views. And now I'm starting to be able to see some of the landscape and the rolling hills. And I really enjoy it. I am going to eat this yummy falafel wrap. So good. And instead of getting a Fanta, which I do love, I got this somewhat healthy probiotic drink with ginger. I'm really trying to eat better on these bike tours because it's so easy to eat junk food when you stop at places like this and you're starving and all you want is candy and candy bars and ice cream. What about you? Do you find healthy food? To eat on bike tours? No, I'm, I'm unfortunately pretty much the same. I just buy, I have this, this is the most typical Swedish candy you can get, got to blend up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I have that when I enter a, a big climb as a sort of comfort. <laughs> Mikke just told me that that is the Sami flag. And that one, of course, is the Swedish flag. Hey, Sveria. All right, this was a very enjoyable lunch stop. Warm, quiet, tranquil. And we got some goodies. All right, you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Oops. Wow, look at that view. Beautiful. Really nice view. Yeah, it's pretty oh. incredible. <laughs> Don't go too far. You're gonna crash into the flowers. Yeah. Come take some shelter here, buddy. It's not perfect, but it's uh, better. Mm -hmm. Wow. We're definitely getting a lot more rain than I thought. I thought it was gonna be a little sprinkle. So what kind of Swedish rain is this? This is your like typical afternoon rain during uh, June and July. You get these showers at like 3 o'clock usually. But this will blow, blow over in 15 minutes tops. All right. Seems like the storm has ended. Thank you, barn on the side of the highway for letting us take cover. So we've been on paved roads now for maybe the last 60 kilometers or so. 
All right, so I just made another new Kamut track. This morning we were on the mountain bike track, but it was a little bit too much, so we jumped off onto that road, which is a beautiful road. But now I used the gravel option, which will hopefully be a little bit more mild than the mountain bike stuff. And we're getting off on what looks to be a beautiful road into the woods, heading south, heading straight to Malmo. And the sun is out. And it is beautiful. How you doing over here, buddy? Oh, he's filming me. He's a little ninja. <laughs> oh, having two YouTubers on one ride is exciting. There's cameras all the time. <laughs> so here we go. You ready? Yep. You're up. Skål. Skål! So I'm thinking... We camp next to a beautiful body of water. Maybe there's even a shelter. What do you think? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking in my head. That's what I'm, keeps me motivated going forward here. That's right. Let's put that energy out into the world. So we were just riding by this summer house. And look, this thing is called the Maypole. And this is what they build on Midsommar Afton. And they decorate it with flowers and leaves. And this is where you dance. Smogruna, smogruna, elustiga etse. Smogruna, smogruna, elustiga etse. Oh, wow. So as a kid, I'm sure you danced around the Maypole so many times, right? Yeah. <laughs> I spent my, my summers in Dalarna, which Ryan might be going through later, and that's like the epicenter of the Swedish midsummer celebration. So we used to drive our caravan down there with my family uh, and dance around the maple. Nowadays, I might just need to have a couple of glasses of wine before I <laughs> dance around, but <laughs> Ryan's spreading so much positive energy that I'm making an exception for his Ah, oh, you're the best. <laughs> Thank you for doing a little dance with me. I haven't danced around a maypole in Sweden for a long, long time. And it just, it brings back really vibrant memories of being an exchange student and how much I love this country. Smogrudena, smogrudena, elustiga etse. I guess I didn't tell you what that all means. It means small frogs are funny to see. Small frogs are funny to see. <laughs> Goodbye, Maypole. That was fun. It's always good to get off your bike and stretch your legs in a different way. You ready to rock and roll? Yep. I would just like to add that we were not in somebody's backyard. <laughs> that Maypole was at like the community house for this little village. <laughs> I'm not that bold just to walk into somebody's backyard <laughs> without getting there. permission. <laughs> Singing small get older <laughs> Yeah, they're like, like what is that? guy with a weird Swedish accent doing. <laughs> Do you think it's weird how much I love lupin flowers? Yeah, they're weeds, Ryan. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Every, I mean, there's so many of them along the roads, but I always want to stop and get shots of them. They're just so beautiful. I love them, but he says they're weeds in Sweden. Not in Colorado. We love them. Whoa, what did we just find? Did we find a cool shelter next to a river? Oh, yeah. This is a deluxe shelter. Look at that. Man, this is a big one. But what is the best part is this. We're right next to a river. And there's also a picnic table. And I can't tell you how much I love picnic tables when I'm camping just to help spread out all my stuff. 
from the other side of the river where the shelter is, I could see a little beach and I've made my way down here and check it out. There is indeed a little sandy beach even with chairs. Look at that. Hey, Mickey! Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo. Yes! Woo. Water makes everything better. It just does. I sleep a lot better when I jump in water. Mexican casserole meal. What? <laughs> So I, I offered this to Ryan, but then I read the last part of this and realized it wouldn't be oh, a good fit for him. Man, <laughs> it's very kind of you to offer that. So I got this for him instead. It's a vegan tikka masala, so I hope that will do for you. <laughs> oh, you're so kind. Do it so snell. Let's see it. Wow, that looks pretty good. Mexican casserole. Yeah. With beans as well. <laughs> of course, there's got to be beans. That's the only way you can go bike packing. That's power. So this is a, a rain map here, huh? Yeah. Looks like we might have some in the next hour. We have a slider down here so we can predict the future. <laughs> I can see the clouds right there. They look a little dark. If all else fails, we go in there. Good night, Min Ven. Thank you for another great day. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that was really great. One more in the books. One more in the books. And it was a fun one. And I think we're gonna have an even better day tomorrow. I think this area coming up here is really spectacular. So I'm, uh, I'm glad to be able to show it to, to Ryan and to you guys. Yeah, right on my man. We'll sleep well. Yep. <laughs> and uh, don't let the bed bugs and mosquitoes and gnats and other things bite. The trick now, like when you pitch your tent, is to get inside of your tent without taking too many mosquitoes with you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you do it. Yeah. Do the tent dive. No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm a couple of minutes before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good night, man. Yeah. And I've said this many times, but when you're on a bike tour, it feels like you're living two days in one because so much happens. Like I'm sitting here thinking about this morning you know, riding those rough trails out of town. And I'm like, wow, that was today? That seems like last week. <laughs> but it was fun and it was an adventure. And you know, what I like about my time here and this particular adventure is it kind of changes every day. Like I thought I was gonna do the, the divide trail and then I changed and I thought I was gonna do something today and then change that. And you know, whatever happens, happens. As long as I'm going south, I'm good and it's been really fun to hang out with Mike and get to know him better and learn from him about this area you know I didn't have many friends in Sweden from way northern Sweden so this is this is new now it's time to sleep and listen to the sounds of the river good night Hello there, and thank you for making it to the very end of this video. You get a high five. I am here to say, hey, thank you for watching my videos, but also, if my videos bring value to your life, if you love them with all your heart and soul, or even just a little bit of your heart and soul, please consider joining my Patreon. You will help keep this channel alive, but you will also get stuff. You will get early release videos with no ads, which is very cool. And I sometimes do Zoom calls with my patrons. You will have direct access to me through Patreon to ask me any question you want. And like I said, you're keeping this channel alive. And also, hey, I wrote a book. It's called The Long Way Home. It's about my very first adventure from Honduras to Colorado. And it talks a lot about how it inspired me to live an interesting life, to say the least. My mom loves it, so maybe you'll love it too. I will link all this down below. But more than anything, thank you so much for watching my videos. You are awesome. Now it's time for you to get off that couch and get out there.